Hello, my darlings. Happy Friday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of the Colonel Arms. It is Friday for you. It is Wednesday for me. Um, so I hope you have a lovely weekend. This is, I'm going to say it one final time, maybe at the end of the video as well. But this is the final video from me until I get back from my break. I will be back on the 6th, Tuesday, the 6th of December. And we'll continue on with some more Let's Build the Worlds and all of that good stuff. So today what we're doing, we're doing more of the interiors. We are going to be doing, finishing off the beer cellar. I've done a little bit off of camera. We're going to be upstairs. We're going to be doing one of the bedrooms for the B&B. &B, and we are also going to be furnishing the kitchen area as well. Now, I will say this build won't be up on the gallery until I get back from Brighton. Um, main reasons being, if I put it up now, it will go up without you seeing what I actually did. So I'm just going to wait until the Monday when I get back. And then I'll put it up on the gallery for you guys to download. That's all I need to say. Let's get into game and let's start building. Right. Here we are, my ansoms. We are back at the Colonel Arms. Doing a little bit of a Cornish accent. Very shit one, but I've given it a bloody good go, and I. <laughs> anyway, final part. So here we are. Nothing's changed from last time. Um, kept it as is. Um, loving it, vibing with it. Um, so what we're doing today, as I said, is the kitchen. We'll start with the kitchen, I think, today. Um, the toilet. Uh, I have furnished one of the bedrooms, just very plain. I don't want too much in here. I wouldn't imagine these are very, um, they don't go for very much, if you know what I mean. Per night, we'll say good 40 quid. 40 quid, bed and breakfast, chucked right in, bloody lovely. Um, and so we'll furnish this one here together as well. And also, we'll finish off, I have done a little bit with the beer cellar. So I've put some kegs out, I've put some barrels. And if you see here, this has been walled up. Oh, it looks absolutely shit from the other side, but we are not going to let that come between us. Um, and we're going to finish off down here as well. We're going to put some treasure and stuff in here, I think, um, for a storyline that I do have in the pipeworks. But I'm not going to let you onto it just yet. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with that, to be honest. <laughs> so, yes, this is what we're doing. We are continuing on. I really like the vibe in here. I do enjoy it. And hopefully you did too. I do not know if you did because I haven't seen that video is not out yet. That is that comes out on Thursday and it's Wednesday now. Anyway, so catch on. I don't know what that's about. So I do want it to be slightly commercial, the kitchen. Um, so maybe going along the lines of using like the industrial light looking one like this one in here, maybe. Oh, those windows are going to have to come up a little tad um we could use this one because it comes in lots of swatches now as well which is just great um i don't know i don't know it's very light in this kitchen isn't it i'm wondering whether or not i should change the tiles let me have a little whiffle through and see if i can just come up with something a little bit better than these tiles because it's just a bit bright in here i think i'm gonna use them and i know you're probably looking at that thinking why and i'm thinking it's dated isn't it it's dated i want this to look dated so there you go, you know? Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your aunt. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. So we, yeah, I do think we are going to use this industrial one. But I'm just, I'm just one weird, with, I'm just wondering whether this is going to like suit in here or not. Or should we just go full commercial kitchen and use this one? Really wish they bought us some more swatches of this as well. That would have been pretty difficult because it's supposed to be like um, stainless steel kitchen. No, I don't think that's the right vibe either. There we go. We're going to use the base game one. The base game, it's not that. It doesn't look commercial. It doesn't look industrial, but we're going to do it anyway. Right, I'm going to flop you to there. Do I have my quarter tile placement on? Probably not, because I've started and stopped my game today about 20,000 times. Because um, I am pre-recording a lot. So, well, not a lot, just two videos, but that feels like a lot to me. <laughs> it does. It feels like a bloody lot, darlings. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Whiffle them up to there. Did we put a window on this side? We did. So we're going to need to whiffle you up as well, my love. Up you go, darling. Up you go. Pop that there as well. And that should be fine. Yes, cool. Okay, stunning. Now, I don't know the layout we're going to do here just yet. But I'm thinking maybe 
Let's do the oven down this way, I think. No, not by the window. Don't want the oven on the window. Let's do the oven there. Let's do the oven there. So let's start mapping this out. I'm going to flop that grid on. Stop being a little shit and come here. Right. And then we're going to flop the... Maybe we'll put the fridge there. Yeah, I think we'll put the fridge there. We'll pop the sink on here. Excuse you. And we'll go right into the edge there as well. So I'll flop that there too. Um, Oven's going there. Corner piece there. And I think we'll do an end piece to finish off here. So I'll flop that piece to there as well. The windows are not up high. Oh, is that window not high enough? No, it's not. Um, so let's make that apparent. It was probably around about there, wasn't it? Yeah, stunning. Stunning. And this one here is not high enough either. So I'm going to have to readjust everything on the outside as well. Is it? Oh, I don't care. I really don't. There we go. That will do. <laughs> I do care. I'm lying. Of course I care. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I'm a Vir I don't know if you knew that, but I am. I'm a Virgo. Bitch, I'm a Virgo. Anyway, oven. Fratch. But oven-wise, it's probably going to be... Oh, mm, it needs to be... I mean, we don't have any industrial-looking ovens, really, apart from this one. That one looks semi-industrial to me, where they can do burgers and stuff on it. Maybe we'll use that one. Oh, I kind of like that colour in here. Let me get rid of that grid. I kind of don't mind that colour. Let's go, let's go for it. It's going to be a little bit garish in here, I reckon. It's going to be a little bit garish. But, um, yeah, cracking food in here, though. The food is to die for. It's a clean kitchen. It's just very old. It's just very old. A very clean establishment, if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. Um, and I think we'll use this one in here as well. Let's flop this fridge in. I know this isn't the most industrial of looking. Oh, actually, maybe I could use this one instead. That might suit it a little bit more and we'll just go for the creamy isn't there a cream version yeah there we go yeah i hate the gaps that this is giving off though i wish they would just all fit in snugly i just spat everywhere then um yeah yeah i do i do like that i do i do I absolutely do yes okay we need to figure out the cupboard color now what what um who are you who are you and what are you thinking this one Okay, and then I'm going to flop. Oh, you bastard. I'm going to cut into that bloody window, isn't it? Um, We'll do it over there instead then. We'll do that one over there. And then we'll just do the smaller versions all the way along. I th oh, that's going to cut in slightly into that window, but I'm just going to see past it. I'm going to leave that one blank, I think. And just put... Maybe I could do a big one there. Or just like a normal size. Why do I keep clicking on that? Stop it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do an extractor at the top here. Maybe using like one of these. I hate the texture on this. The texture always weirds me out on this one. I don't know why. It just doesn't look like it fits in the game. Do you know what I mean? The shadowing and stuff on it is just a little bit too much. But I'm going to use it anyway. That is up very high. But I'm going to let it be. Um, and I'm not going to sing because I nearly broke into... Is it Elton John, that song? Let it be? No, it's Paul McCartney. I'm not a fan of Paul McCartney. I'm sorry to people who are out there. And that's it. I'm just sorry for you. I'm really... <laughs> no, I just don't know. I get, I get a weird vibe off of him. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not a fan of his music. Full stop. You know? Full absolute stop. Did I use the right one then? I did. Just looked like it ended a bit weird. Yes. And then we can put a bin in here then. Um, so I'm going to flop a little bin in. Um, it probably needs to be, yeah, some kind of... I would like one with a lid, to be honest, in a kitchen. So I'm just going to use that one. I'm going to use that one in here. It's not going to be a massively detailed kitchen. I just need it to do kitcheny stuff, you know? Kitcheny things and stuff. Right, let's get a sink in as well. Uh, we'll go for the industrial looking sink. We'll flop. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's going to be a bit annoying. I'm not going to put it there because they won't cook anywhere else and People say they'll cook on there, but sometimes they don't. And it's very annoying. So I think I do need to put a full size one there. Oh, oh, why did I get rid of the bin? Keep the bin. <laughs> Keep the bin. And then grab this one. Flop that one there. And then I can slide that right in. <laughs> Filth. Filth in the dungeon. We'll darken that down to the green as well. 
Okay. And then we can get a sink there as well then, can't we? We can get a sink. I'm probably going to be putting a a dishwasher in here as well. Oh, I haven't got room for a dishwasher. I mean, can I do a full-sized one there? Can we do a full-sized one there? And then I can put the dishwasher there then. And I know it's miles away from the sink, but they, they're limited to space, okay? Unless... Unless we go back to what we had. I could put the bin there. I could probably move the door a bit as well, to be honest. I could put the bin there. Yeah, that door's not going to open else. Yeah, we'll move the door. I'm going to turn it around from the other side as well so it opens out that way. Yes, that's better. Put the bin there. Sink's going to go there. Then I'm going to do a dishwasher next to it. And we'll use that um, kind of industrial looking dishwasher. Where are you? There you are. Because you come in that colour and that... Oh, that looks awful there. It's going to look better there, isn't it? I'll have to put the sink on that one instead. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I'll put the sink on here as well. I think we'll go for it. Now I'm looking at those colours. I think we'll go for like a coppery colour sink. Yeah, we'll do that. What's that one? I mean, what's the difference between those two? Barely anything. Yeah, we'll flop that there. Okay, that's that's working for me. I need those non-slip rugs. And I know those come in that orangey tone as well. So maybe we can use them in here. Just so it brings a bit more of that vibe in. Yes, we'll do that. Flop you to there. I'm going to overlap these two, I think. Overlap them there and then whiffle that one around. And overlap it on that side as well about there oh that's beautiful oh it's absolutely slowing absolutely silent right and i do need an extractor fan i mean we could put an extractor fan on the outside here i'm just wondering whether or not we can use that henford one is it not in this here is it not on exterior details like the other vent is no it's not is it right so we're gonna have to go into here and find it if I can find it. I found it. Right. Maybe I could just use it in white here. So I'll flop one there. I mean, the oven's over that side. Yeah, that's all right. It'll still work as an extractor. It's fine. And then I'll flop one to there. Love that it's that colour on the inside. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much for doing that, Sims. I really like... I love the lighting in this game. I really do. Really, really love it. Absolutely love it. <sighs> right. In fact, you know what we're going to do then? I'm going to get rid of that. I love the way that I think this is going to be like... Oh, no. See? The lighting on that's fine. We'll do the decorative one on the outside and that one on the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay. We've got that going on. We also need a fire... We have got a fire alarm system on this, but I'm still going to put a fire alarm here as well. Size it down though lovely um fire extinguisher fire um if i text search for fire will it show up with a fire extinguisher yes it does that's shocking i didn't think that was going to happen but it did it didn't think that was going to happen but it did i'll flop that up the top there as well okay that bin wouldn't open though so maybe i need to put it over that side yeah there we go lovely stunning cover girl we're here for it aren't we absolutely here for it yeah i'm not going to do any i'm going to do some saucepans i think i'll do some saucepans on the wall but i'm not going to go heavy into detail in here because being a commercial kitchen you'd rather it just be three of free of shit and stuff and it's all in the cupboards anyway that's the mantra and that's what we're going for so i need to find that elusive saucepan that takes me about 50 years to find there it is see did you see how long that took me to find years absolutely years <laughs> and then we'll flop them there i think yeah yeah i kind of want to do one detail just put a few pots and pans somewhere maybe um where can i do that i mean where can where can i do that where is it is what i meant to say there it is god i didn't think i was going to find you either maybe we'll pop them up on the side as well there we go just a little bit of detail going in. I'm not going to do any blinds or anything on here either. So they've got a little a view of um, a picnic bench. Stunning. Um, I did a little detail as well. Uh, I didn't think I spoke about this on camera last time. But dog treats. Whenever you go into a pub in Devon, Cornwall, 
um, in the middle, and it could be anywhere in the UK. If there is a dog friendly pub, you know the owners are going to have dog treats and they usually let your dog have a little treat as well. And it's very nice of them. It is. Right. Um, a toilet. I think we just need to do a generic. I might even go this way with it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go. We'll move that to there. So that's got a little bit more room in itself. Uh, I'm going to do toilet there. And then we'll use that sink from Cottage Living. I think that would work well in this toilet. It does. Oh, it does indeed. Just a plain mirror. Nothing going on. Nothing fancy. Um, I might even use this one instead, actually. Yeah, that's probably more fitting. We'll just do that in a, a silvery grey. Beautiful. Um, toilet roll. A little loo roll behind here. Beautiful. Um, I might even do... Not pictures. They usually have like little... Well, not usually. But they have like articles and stuff on the walls sometimes. Um, do you know what I mean? They have like newspaper clippings of like local happenings. What's happened. What was famous. So I might try and find something like that. Uh, isn't there something in base game that could work with that? Let's have a little look. Where are you? You're in like a black frame. Oh, you're down here. Look. We'll put them in the... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. Not that one, though. It doesn't look very nice. <laughs> what about you and you? Just some local happenings. Just some local happenings going on. Beautiful. Stunning. And then I'm going to do a little trash can on the floor. We'll pop that down there. Oh, how dare you? We'll pop you in the corner there. And then probably what I want to do is go into get to work and then go into war decorations. We can pretend that this is a hand dryer. But that has also got paper towels as well. So the choice is yours, my loves, for what you want. Paper towel or a hand dryer. The option is yours, you know. Yeah, there we go. People could peep in there and see your pasty, but you've just got a... Um, no, that looks weird. We'll just keep it as it is. So yeah, people can peek in there and look at your pasty when you're having a wee, but you know, that's just one of the charms about this place, to be honest. <laughs> oh, not pasty peeking as charms, but you know. Um, and then here, what I'm going to do, let's get rid of base, get to work in base game. I'm just going to do a little, a small little untable, little, little untable on this part here. Um, I don't know what, oh, you could work in here actually. I mean, it's industrial, but I'm going to go for it. I am not in that color though. It needs to be slightly different. Um, oh, maybe that one. Yeah. Yeah, that will do. And I'll flop you in there, my love. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to put a little plant up on that. A little cheeky plant. Um, oh, oh, you could be a vibe over there. Oh, you're very long, though. I do love this plant, though. It's very lovely. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just shrink it right down and pop that there. Like that. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'm not going to put anything on top of there now. Oh, I'm in, I'm in love with that. I'm in love with it. Okay, I think what we'll do is move down into the beer cellar. I'm going to pull out a few objects and we'll start placing them around to kind of make up the story. Right. Treasure. Treasure is afoot in here, darlings. I've pulled out a few pieces. Just a few. We're going to start laying this around together. So I love this chest here from um, uh, Island Living. I'm just going to start placing some of the treasure just around it. Just around it, a nice bowl of fruit, an offering, if you will. Um, we'll flop this. Let's get those. No, we won't get the gold bars just yet. Um, I hate the fact that this plate is on a stand, but we're going to use it anyway. In fact, I'm going to put you back there just so it's... We're just going to push it all up into this corner. Now we've got rubies. We've got sapphires. We've got diamonds. I mean, whoever found this, they'd be set for life, loves. They really would. Oh, <laughs> we'll just delete that one. They'd be set for life if you ever found this. They really would. So let's just scatter these all around. Think of the Goonies, love. Think of the Goonies. A huge diamond as well, this is. It is not an Amazonite or whatever it's called. <laughs> what they said. I don't know what it's called. 
So let's just start laying this around in various little places. I mean, this would be a bounty, wouldn't it? This would be a bounty if you found this. That's all I'm saying. I pulled out one coin because I want to do a moment with those coins. But not after I've placed all of these around. Let's start getting in some diamonds as well. These aren't diamonds, but we're going to pretend that they are. I mean, can you imagine? This is going to be part of one of the urban legends. Um, but I'm not going to go into that until we get to a lot where the story um, started. But um, that won't be for a very long time. So just remember this. <laughs> <laughs> just remembered this until we get to that particular lot um because it's going to be marvelous it really is it's going to be absolutely marvelous right let's whiffle you in a bit more i'm trying to mix up these colors so it doesn't look too repetitive you know so let's get you over there i'm gonna do two more of these there i'm gonna do put one of those frogs behind there as well stunning same here uh, all of these gold bars are just going to be laid around and I'm going to go haywire with the coins in a second and I think that will really pull it in. We've also got a little treasure map there too. Maybe that's for other treasure. Who knows? Who knows? Is that floating? It is because it's magic. <laughs> no, I'll put it on top there. Yes, that's fine. Um, So let's lay all this down. I'm going to put some cobwebs and stuff in here as well. Cobwebs everything's just gonna it's just gonna be marvelous it is and i'll stop bringing these out a little bit more blue stop snorting will you i'm trying to record For goodness sake yeah, let's flop these all the way around here oh yes oh there's another little chest there i forgot about you we'll flop you down there um i think that might be okay for the gold bars to be honest with you i mean i've, I've pulled out loads but I think that will suffice. So we'll get rid of these. We'll get rid of these. And then what I'm going to do is whiffle this coin. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay. Let's go to town. Let's go to absolute town. These coins are going to be absolutely everywhere, Jarlogs. Oh. Oh, absolutely everywhere. Oh, treasure. Treasure. What an absolute treasure. <laughs> Let's just go in between all the little gaps here. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, sorry. I shift. I shift. I shift zoomed then. Absolutely shift zoomed. Yes, that's what I wanted. So that is a bounty and half, darling. That. Right, let's um get in some. I want some rocks maybe in here as well. Let me let me pull out a few more bits. And we'll start putting them around. Oh, there we go. Just added in a little bit more detail using that get famous um, rug. That looks like a big like crack in the floor. I just think that's add something in there. Something. Something in there. And I've put some more rocks, as rocks around as well. Just to add a little bit more texture. Now, I want to get rid. I would love if this room was a bit darker. But, um... It won't allow it because this arch is still showing the light through. Um, so I'm just going to add some cobwebs and stuff around now, I think, to finish this off, to be honest. And maybe some cracks in the walls. Let's do some of this around as well. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm for this. I really am. Yeah, let's see if we can add some of these cracks in the walls that are going. Yes, in various different locations. Oh, I'm for it. Oh, I'm absolutely full of this. Maybe not that. No, just, let's stick with a crack. <laughs> let's stick with a crack, okay? Stick with the absolute crack. There we are. And then one more over this side as well. Did I use that one? No, I didn't. Yeah, we'll just do that there. Yeah, I'm into it. I do think it needs some kind of like drip in here though. So I'm obviously going to use that grunge black towel you know <laughs> you know maybe i should go for green in here just to bring it oh for goodness sake where did i put that no idea that's somewhere that is absolutely oh there it is <laughs> i can see it <laughs> come here there you are all right i'm gonna use a bit of yes we'll use some of these green in here and we'll use this one as well let's put a little bit of that behind there beautiful Yes. Yeah, I think so. 
I do. I think so. I very much do think so. Oh, what a bounty, loves. I bet the pub landlord is absolutely fuming knowing this is not behind here. But if you saw that, you'd be like, hmm, what's behind there? <laughs> but, you know, this is Sims. And that is the mantra we're going with today. Okay, so to finish off, we're going to get upstairs. And we're going to start furnishing this, um, well, the Airbnb bedroom. Airbnb is not an Airbnb. It's a bed and breakfast. Okay, so we've got a double bedroom. I think for this room, I'm going to go for... um a twin i think i'm gonna go for a twin bedroom so just in case like there's two sims who wants to stay i think we're gonna give them two beds i think that's the best place for them uh the swatch is quite nice actually i was a bit worried about that orange then but i kind of like it the blue's too blue no 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 oh that's quite nice as well actually oh i prefer that i do prefer that we'll go for that yeah we'll go for that one We'll go for this one here. I'm going to put that same desk as what we've got in there. Flop it in there like that, darling. They have got a little desk moment as well. Unsure at what um, color blinds to use in here. I do want to use these because we have used them next door. It would just make sense. So I think I'm going to do that. And we'll do some more there as well. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. But I'm going to change the color of them. Uh, oh god no maybe just something a little bit oh yeah we'll go for brown we'll go for brown yeah that gives me a vibe okay i'm into it we need a bedside table for each of them and i might even put a screen in between them or something that could be kind of cute so we do a bedside table there bedside table there and i could put a screen on this side let's try that um bedside table wise maybe these in this room I mean, that color doesn't go, but there is a darker one, isn't there? There we go. Stunning. Stunning. I mean, that would be a tight squeeze with that um, uh, desk in the way, but we're going to we're gonna go for it. We really are. I'm going to use the same chair. Get that. Oh, oh God, you took that right in. Yep. We'll do a little lantern there as well. Beautiful job. I'm, in fact, I think I'm going to do one of these pictures up here as well. One of those older pictures. We'll change the picture though. For that one. Beautiful. Yes. Let me have a look at the screens. I do want to do like a separating screen. Just in case there's two. Where you can get dressed behind it and stuff. You know. Um, maybe like this kind of vibe. Um, That's not bad. But I think maybe no. <laughs> yes. That's what I wanted. And what I'll do is. I'll put it there. But then. I don't know. They could move it if they want. If they want to get a bit more privacy. Worried that they won't be able to get into this bed. But I reckon they might be able to. From my eye, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. That came together really quickly, actually. But I do actually really like that. Um, I've put a lantern on there. But I'm not going to put them on top of here, I don't think. In fact, I'll do a little small desk light on top of these. I think that will be that. I think that will suffice. Um, and desk-wise, desk-wise indeed, maybe just something like this, just a little, I know it's quite modern, but, or we could do lanterns, oh, that's cute, yeah, we'll do that, we'll do lanterns, oh, yeah, that's nice, actually, I like that, I do, I like that, I like that a lot, um, I'm gonna use one of these up here, I think, I'm gonna flop that here, but I think I'm going to change the picture. Yeah, we'll do the map. We'll do the map. Stunning. Stunning. And then I've left enough space here to do maybe a couple of chest of drawers. Maybe we'll use these ones in here. I could do like one there. And hopefully... Ooh, I don't know if we're going to be able to squeeze another one in. Um, If I moved that to there... They surely would still be able to get through there. The door would still be able to open. It's a tight squeeze, but I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to put that mirror that we've used in here. And I think I'm going to try and slide it there. I mean, that's a bit tight. And I reckon it might catch fire, but we have got a fire system in here. It should be okay. <laughs> that is a like, tight squeeze there, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's going to be fine. Uh, or shall I get rid of that? 
Should I get rid of that? Because I could put that. They'll just share a chest of drawers. It was just a little bit too tight then. I liked the higgledy piggledyness of it, but I'd rather have a direct path through, you know? Yeah, that's a bit more cleaner, actually. We'll do that. Okay. Okay. And I think to finish it off, I'm going to do another one of these on the top here. Another one of these. This just works in like older builds. It really does. Yes. And I'm not going to put anything out on the sides or not. Um, I would love to like a little tea like area or something, but we don't have that in The Sims. Sadly. And I think maybe to finish off of using this rug in here. I know I use this to death, but I love it. And I'm not ashamed. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say so. Just put it like there. Oh yeah, that tied in that room. Lovely. Nice. Nice. And then obviously a toilet, but boring we're not going to do that we'll do a shower room in there but um i'm not going to furnish that now um i think what we're going to do is give this give us a little tour loves a little tour this came together quite fast so anyway the colonel arms the first of probably many pubs in this save file um i do really like it i do i think it just it just feels like home this <laughs> to me it just feels like home we've got the back area here as well um, we've also got the basement going down there. We'll start off in the basement. So obviously, we've got the um, well, the beer cellar, the beer cellar with the very elusive doorway to treasure. Oh, look at all of that, darlings! Oh, I'd be made up of that. I would. Um, yeah, beautiful. Right up we go. So into the main bar. We'll go through the main door just so you can kind of get a vibe of what it will be like. Come through the main door. Greeted with a couple of chairs. Everything you would need. The fire would be crackling. The conversation would be brewing. I mean, I'm for it. Oh, yeah. I, I forgot. I was try trialing out these instead of using them. I think I'm going to be using these instead of them. You guessed it. Um, I just like the texture and that. I'm on that compared to the, the other one. So, yeah, I forgot about that. So if you're probably thinking, why is there a weird pillar? That's why. Where's that gone? Oh, goodbye. <gasps> Save us. Save us. <laughs> Save us, please. <laughs> why do I always fall through the world? <laughs> always fall through the world, me. Um, yeah, let's get back in here again. So, was that disappeared when I came in then? There was something missing here. Yeah, I think things were missing from there when I came in here. It looked weird. Special sport TV. Main bar area. Main pub area. Beautiful. You can just imagine the conversations and stuff going on in here between all the fishermen and just the locals before it. You come up here. You got yourself a little toilet in here, my loves. To do your ones and twos. Um, got the kitchen here. Very commercial, uh, dated kitchen. But I think it suits this build to the ground. We've obviously got access out through that way where the staff can go out. Um, but we've also got access out here as well. You can get out onto the pier. Beautiful. Um, yeah, lovely. Let's go. Oh, 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 sorry. Up the stairs we go. Up the stairs we go. We have got one bedroom, which we have just furnished. So this is a twin room. Just like the vibe in here. I do. What a lovely little B&B. &B. What a lovely little B&B. &B. And then obviously the room that I did off of camera as well. Just a nice double. Um, cozy. I'll show you the floor plan as well. Because I know you, some of you guys are interested in floor plans and stuff. So this is the floor plan of the lot. Down we go to the next level as well. And then obviously, we've got that one down there as well. The basement. The basement of dreams. Let's finish on a lovely little shot. Oh, that's beautiful. Anyway, my loves, thank you so much all of your support don't forget as i said in the beginning this is the last video until i go away on a break keep the comments flowing so i'm going to be reading and replying to them throughout my break um i really appreciate you thank you thank you so much for just letting me have a little bit of time off to recharge my batteries i really appreciate it um and i will be back on tuesday the 6th of december have a wonderful weekend my loves and i'll see you when i return goodbye <laughs>